What up, Forest Nation? Type Forest here. I'm here with a video detailing my OBS settings. It's been requested a couple times, so I thought I would uh, go over it. Um, so if I go down to settings and I change to my streaming profile, which is my 720p by 60 FPS. If we go into encoding, I uh, have use CBR checked as well as enable CBR padding. My max bitrate is 2500 and I do not use a custom bitrate. My codec is AAC for audio encoding. I had 192 bits and 48 kilohertz stereo. This may be a bit overkill right here. Um, I don't know if this actually benefits a ton. If people have really good headphones and sound cards, this might help them. I have a really good headphone and sound card, so headset, so this could potentially help me a little bit, but I don't even think this is that important. Um, underneath broadcast is pretty pretty straightforward. Live stream, Twitch, you're going to pick your closest server. You're going to use your stream key and then the rest is just default. Under video I have just my graphics card. I don't know if there's a specific one to select. I use a custom resolution which is 1920 by 1080. That's my native monitor resolution. That's also what I play in the video game. Like all my video games, I play 1920 by 1080. So if you don't have that, you want to use your native monitor resolution. And in general, if you play your game at the same resolution, it should work. If you play your game at a different resolution, I'm not sure how that's going to work out. But this is what I use. I downscale that 1.5 times to, to 1280 by 720. Um, if you played at 1280 by 720 and your native was 1280 by 720, you're going to get a better picture than if you downscale. Every time you downscale, it, it it worsens the image. So even though this is a HD image, 720p is HD technically, it doesn't look HD because it's downscaled. Uh, the filter I use is 36 samples, best detail. And I use it at 60 FPS to try to give you guys less screen tear on the higher FPS games. Uh, my audio is pretty default. You could change your desktop boost if you want to let the stream hear your music louder than it actually is. Underneath advanced I have used multi-threaded optimizations. Also my priority class is normal. I think 400 is default. I don't think I changed that. Um, my X264 preset, CPU preset is very fast. My X264 encoding main is set to main. Pro encoding profile set to main. My keyframe interval is 2, and I have used CFR checked. These two things, this set to main and this to 2 is really important because this allows your stream to be rated by Twitch at excellent. Um, there's a couple other things that they also rate based on like uh, what, I don't know, I think what bit rate you use. If, it, if this goes too high, they won't rate you excellent. But um, this allows them to rate your stream by excellent. If they rate your stream excellent, then they'll put you on the mobile. If they don't rate excellent, they they say they might not put you on the mobile um, on mobile devices. So you're, that's important. The rest of this is all default from here down, and I do not use microphone nose gate, so I don't have any settings there. Th that's my main settings that you know the, the detailed settings that people are asking for. While I'm here, I'll just go over a, a couple things. First of all. With OBS, you have scenes and sources. Scenes allows you to change between different, like, like I don't know, setups. So I have one with my game and its overlay, and then one when I have to BRB. It's the, just a chair without my image, and it says BRB, and then the server screen, the server changing screen, which is like the donations and the, the main picture of, of my webcam. Um, so you could switch between these. I have them hotkeyed to my G1, G2, and G3 keys, which are macro keys on my keyboard. Within each scene, you have different sources. Um, so you have your webcams, your windowed, your your window captures, your game captures, and etc. So you can turn those on and off and edit them and move them around. Uh, one thing that I wanted to really point out is try to make all your sources global, you guys. So like my for instance my my game my webcam and then my game which i think is under shadow bane but my webcam and my game are global sources and what's what's important about that is when you switch between your different scenes you're going to you're going to call on those those global sources if it's in multiple scenes and if it's, if it is, then it's going to be flawless. The webcam is going to be flawless from from scene to scene. But if you don't have it in global and you just right click and add it without going global, then you're going to have it shut off and start back up. Like the drivers actually have to like stop and start. 
and it really like lags the, the webcam or the game or the window capture or whatever you have. So always make sure you guys use global sources. Another thing to note is when recording, check down here. This is a status bar. You want to make sure this is green, which means you're actually uploading at what you want to be uploading at. Right now, I'm, I'm just recording to a local hard drive, so I have a really high bit rate. I'm doing pure 1080p right now. Um, so this is a lot higher than it normal would be and I don't care about the FPS so I don't have my 60 but normally you'll see what FPS you want to be recording at it'll show you what you're actually recording at if it, for some reason it can't record at 60 you're probably stressing it too hard if this is flashing orange or red you're not uploading at the speed you need to you don't have a consistent upload um, you're, you're basically taxing the upload too much or if you start dropping frames your CPU is, is, is maxing out or something that's causing your frames to drop so this should be set to what you have your FPS set at I normally it's 60 this should be green and this should be pretty much staying at zero um, if you lose some frames it's okay but if you get into like 10 15 20 percent frames instead of like 0.01 percent frames that, that's that's kind of a big deal um, one more thing to go through while we're here, you guys. Um, to know when you're in here, to know if if you can if you can set this, you need to do a speed test. So if you just go to speedtest.net and begin a speed test, it will run. Um, the download's not as important. It's it's for streaming. It's not that important. It's the upload that you want to really look for. So you just let it go. I live. I just moved to Texas, and I have fiber, so I have some pretty decent internet. That's why I started streaming. So my download is 82. It looks like my upload's going to push about 39, 39 megabytes. So with this, you want to have at least 3 megabytes download. So I'm a bit over that, so I'm pretty good. But this is 2.5 megabytes, or sorry, upload. You This is 2.5 megabytes upload. So you want to have at least 500 bits, if not 1,000 above what you're uploading at. Because you, you use upload for the game, for you know your voice comms, you use it for the internet, everything. So you don't want to max out 100% of your upload. But if you don't have a decent upload speed, it's going to be really hard to stream, you guys. So hopefully you have 3 to 5, maybe 10 upload. 10 would be amazing. You really don't need more than 10. 3 is minimum, I would feel, for HD quality, 720p. 5 is a lot better. Um, if you're streaming at 1080p, you're going to probably want like a 7 to 10 or higher. Um, 5 may work for you as well. Uh, I don't know. But that's the basis of it, guys. Uh, I hope this video helped. And I hope to see you guys again. If you have any questions, if I wasn't clear on something, um, just leave a comment down below and I'll get to you. All right, Force Nation, see you guys later.